ghost boy of Clinton Road will return coins people throw in the creek. <laughs> Funny. Who is throwing just... coins in the creek? Yeah, that's true. Why would you do that? But it's... I like it that the boys just like flinging them back out too. <laughs> it's like, no, this is called littering. This is mm-hmm. not a water fountain. <laughs> I'm not granting <laughs> wishes. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so. It's also said that, oh, well, it's said that if you throw the coins in the creek, that that's what summons the ghost boy, and you'll see his reflection in the water. But there's some other people that say if you just stand on the bridge, a quarter will just drop out of nowhere. And then when you bend down to get the coin, the ghost boy will push you into the lake. But apparently (laughs) he's not trying to hurt you. He's trying to save you from getting hit by a car. He's just moving you out of the way. Yeah, he's like that. Maybe Hope that's swim. maybe that's what he did to to oh. die, you know. Okay. And so he's like, no, this is a terrible idea. Push. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like those times though, though, when people are feeling like they're saving you, but they just kind of hurt you and scare you because they grab you all of a sudden. So you're yeah. like, yeah, okay, it didn't feel like you were helping though. Anyways, right. At one time, Carl and I were walking and there was a tarantula and he yelled at me and grabbed me pretty hard. And I was really offended, but I guess I didn't want to step on that tarantula either. (laughs) So I guess I was having a flashback of that. Ah. It's unknown which bridge along Clinton Road, because there are multiples, is Ah. the bridge that the ghost boy hangs out at. You can stop at several of them and see coins in the creek. So I can't give you great direction on that. Wow, so do not drink the water that comes from these creeks because <laughs> all that metal. Yeah, mm, not a good time. idea. <laughs> now, many people have reported other paranormal activity along this road that has nothing to do with the ghost boy. People say they get an eerie sensation of being watched by something in the woods. They've seen strange lights such as beam, uh, such as beaming white streaks on their car. They hear disembodied childish laughter. That could be the ghost boy. But they associate all this stuff with Cross Castle, which is in the woods a lot off the road here. Off from the road. Anyways, it was built, Cross Castle was built in 1905 by Richard J. Cross. But in 1919, it burnt down, only leaving stone the stone walls atta- intact. These walls now seem to lure evil con- congregations such as satanic worshipers. Ah, oh, here we go with those satanic worshipers. <laughs> now, Always finding these castles in the woods. <laughs> They've got really good navigation sense, let me just say. say. <laughs> yeah, and they are some hikers, too, to it's really true. get out there and explore until they find some cool-ass abandoned building. Yeah, and that's a lot to – got to carry your robes and your candles, you know, your, your spray paint. offerings. Yeah. Spray paint, things yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. So I did read, though, like I don't think this is just something that people made up unless all these stories are made up as well. People, locals that live in the area had posted, a, you know, comments along a blog about this story that said, I was hiking in the area, I saw some really strange shit. Uh, you know, and they just turned around and avoided it. Or people that would say, when I was a teenager, I went out to a party where these, like, castle ruins are, and some people were up to some real weird shenanigans. Oh. Also, the ruins have since been torn down, but when people went out there to tear them down, uh, the basement still remains, though, so I guess you can look for that. But the upper walls do not, but when they went to go tear them down, they took a whole bunch of photographs of all the graffiti on the wall and it yeah. was like, Ooh, what does that mean? You know, and stuff like that. So I guess if you <laughs> decipher the graffiti, some of it might be something, a demon. I'm not sure. 